What's going on guys? It's Noah here. Today we got a pretty cool house to explore. Again, we have a very retro home here. Uh, this is more probably 70s or 80s I'd say this place. Kind of sprinkled in with some 60s. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's not much to say about it. It's the house beside the other one that was being demolished that we visited. The uh, 60s looking one. So this has the same fate. It's going to be demolished because they want to put a whole subdivision in the space it has in the backyard. But uh, this one's basement's also flooded too, so a pretty common theme. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this one as well though. So, without further ado, let's get into it and see what we can find. Alrighty guys, so we are starting at the front door here. Nice front closet. Put all your coats and your shoes. I may be wrong about the age of the house. It just seems kind of like a mixture of like 60s to 80s to me. I like the uh, the new tone bell here. I also love the stone at the front here. It's beautiful. So I got to think, guys, that this front entrance here is original. Like this stone wall seems very like 60s, but like 50s even to me. Like I only think that because this new tone doorbell is like actually cut out into it same with this electro heat uh, thermostat dial so i wonder if this is original to the home or if whoever just did it did a really good job installing it we got some old carpet right away lifted living room love that curved bay window too great little area for entertaining this house also looks like it hasn't been changed since it was uh, built. It's a very cool front entrance way. I love that they continued the stone all the way up the wall here. Looks like we got an intercom system, a mirror tone. So this is probably in a bunch of the rooms. Probably have the dining room right here. I don't know, the style of this house, it's such a cozy home. Like, something about it, it just makes it feel homey, this place. Like the light fixture, it's kind of cool. It's very cool. So we got the kitchen. This kind of reminds me more of like a 80s style, maybe 90s style kitchen. You know, we got updated, uh, that was weird. We got updated countertops, everything like that. Nice island too, which is cool. Again, we got the intercom system. I'm gonna guess that it's, uh, yeah, it's all empty. Still got appliances. It's kind of gross in there, it's like moldy. <laughs> oh, it stinks, I shouldn't open that. So we can go upstairs or we can go downstairs. I think we'll go upstairs first. This house gets some uh, pretty nice light in it. Kind of got that 80s floral wallpaper going on. It's always cool seeing houses at sunset because you got these like little areas of light, which is cool. This carpet's something else though. Like <laughs> it's very uh, it's very plush still. Oh look at this room. Look at the I guess the ceiling caved at one point, but. You can see they tried to repair that. It's cracking again. I'm scared of ceilings now after that one almost killed us. But there's all the water collecting. The actual roof of this home is in really, really bad shape. There's like tarps and stuff up right in this area outside. But you can see there's like black mold on these uh, pieces of drywall. So it's a bit of a shame. I guess though at the end of the day it is being demolished, right? So. 
doesn't really matter. Yeah, look at that. It's interesting that they tried to fix it though, but like the paint's peeling and stuff. So. This is like the color of my bedroom. I have this like teal color. Can I reach this? Oh, it's a door. Okay, it just goes into the attic. And you got another hole for the attic right there. Linen closet, of course. There's a lot of wood in this house. Maybe it was an elderly couple that lived here too. They got the uh, assistant bars right there. Electro heat. Nice little wall scones. It's a pretty modern bathroom. There's nothing like crazy going on in here. The toilet's even clean. Surprising. It's like a theme in this neighborhood that this like lifted carpet area. It's interesting how this room's in such good shape but the other one's like absolutely decimated. <laughs> hmm. There we go, we got the intercom in here. So I guess it's in every room. All right, well the upstairs isn't anything crazy. Go down this staircase right here. Got like linoleum on this stairs here, which is weird. We got a nice little gas fireplace here. It's nice. The stone's interesting, but it's weird how it's not the whole wall. Like it's weird that they have wood. I guess they had shelves here though. But yeah, beautiful stone. Nice mantle, nice fireplace. We will get to that in a second. That's very cool. It's like half the house size right there. <laughs> what was this for? Like bags and chemicals? Maybe. It's kind of weird. There's like a heat pipe running in here. Oh, here's a washroom kind of a strange spot. I got a washroom this small in my house. It's kind of weird. It's very inconvenient. You can like barely get into it. <laughs> They're so small, but I mean, they do the trick. All right, look at this. Go this way. Look at this sauna, or not a <laughs> sauna room. Look at this freaking uh, hot tub in this fully wooden room. Ah, it's awesome. Wonder if this was an extension on this house too. I mean, you know, brick right here. That seems like they extended the house here. I love the uh, uh, skylights all throughout here. It's very cool. Like I said, in the other house, this is the property that's being redeveloped all back there. So these houses have to go, unfortunately, but of course, they're getting house, rid of houses with character like this one. Like this is such a nice house. I'd love to be able to live here. I know it's a bit rough, but having the opportunity to fix it up would be great. Um, but they don't really give us that opportunity. It's kind of a cool clock. I guess the window's been left open. I wonder if there's any water in the... Uh, No, but it's a nice hot tub. It's very 80s though. <laughs> All right. I feel like every 80s house has this fan, like this wooden blade fan. <laughs> I've seen so many of these. 
Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice this. It's like a, it's like an upside down lantern. That's what it looks like. It's so strange, but it's cool. Check out the garage. Well, somebody always crashed. I guess they got a uh, tennis ball right there. <laughs> Let me back in. It's definitely not a huge garage, one car, but I mean, it's wouldn't have been a bad garage. I mean, you got a nice fridge here. It's got a power opener or an electric opener. So it's cool. It's cool. All right, so we'll take a peek in the basement. I do know it's flooded though. Gee, what is this? That's so random. Why did they t like put linoleum in here? <laughs> like it doesn't match the rest of the house. It's all different. Oh wow, look at the condensation on the door. It's nuts. Oh wow, look at the mold on the stairs. And the wall is literally icy, so, and the boards are buckled on the wall. I've never seen that before, the boards buckling on the wall. All right, well, we'll see how far we make it down. Yeah, it's not, it's unfinished, so we're not really missing out on much, but you can see that this is in water, like, Basement's flooded. It's up on the appliances. I don't have boots really, but looks like there might be a bar down there. No. And this is just like a storage area under the house, so it's nothing crazy, but you can see the boards are all moldy for the floor, which is uh, kind of crazy, isn't it? But it would have been a bad little basement. I guess their washing and drying machine would have been down here. Had some other stuff, but fortunately can't really go any deeper with these boots I got on. But crazy the amount of condensation in here. Alright guys, so that was a pretty cool house. It's definitely an interesting spot. It's a shame it's being demolished to be basically just turned into a cookie cutter subdivision. Just like all these houses seem to always be. But if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Make sure to drop a comment down below. Tell me if you would live here. Tell me what year you think this house is. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. So if you could help me get there, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.